Hello, and welcome to this part of the pond of the Bullfrog Reviews. <sighs> Christmas. We all like Christmas, we all like Christmas presents, and we all like Christmas movies. From Home Alone, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, to the many, and I mean many, retellings of A Christmas Carol, with Muppets, to... I think there could be a comedy and spoof. There's a lot of A Christmas Carol, and we're not talking about A Christmas Carol. No, we're talking about The Grinch. We are talking about Jimmy Stewart. And you're thinking it's a wonderful life, but it's not. I am talking about this gem right here. The, the shop around the corner. This is a holiday gem. Forgotten, a diamond in the rough almost. About Jimmy Stewart, who is this top salesman at Mushniks. And how him, and how he's trying to do well at this job. Trying to be the best man that he is. But this girl, whose name, whose actress's name, I can't remember off the top of my head. Because I'm the bullfrog. I am not good with my memory sometimes. Comes, but this newcomer comes to the job and she gets it. And now it's these two budding heads and his boss, who... Again, you may not know his name, but you know who he is. The Wizard of Oz. With, he starred with Julie Gollerand in. That actor who is the wizard is the boss of that shop. And him, Jimmy Stewart, and a cast of colorful characters all, get, all are dealing with Christmas that's coming for that big sale. But Jimmy has a struggle because he wants to, well, he wants to have, take a step forward and marry. Because he's doing this dating system. This is a black and white film, so there's no email. Though email is connected to this movie because You Got Mail is based off of this film. And in this film... Other than email, they actually had a news article you would go, oh, looking for someone? You go right to that address, into that box, and in that box people exchange letters. And that's what you would like to call old-time mail. Now, well, that's how people used to communicate, and that's how Jimmy has this blind date relationship with a woman. And... After his struggle with the shop, it's him trying to get out and try to meet this girl at the same time. And his the I'm not I'm 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 not gonna do good with that actor's name, so we'll call him the Wizard of Oz, though he's really the owner of the shop. That man also has his struggles as well with what's gonna happen. I am not gonna spoil. I'm against spoilage on this on my reviews. But this, the movie revolves around Jimmy Stewart and the Wizard of Oz of this film. And this is a good Christmas movie. How that through struggles, we can get by. Though Jimmy's may not be as hard as the Wizard of Oz, but in the end, they get good endings. In the end, we can still survive. It's a good movie. It's a quiet film. Black and white, so it shows its age and... Some parts of it, it hasn't aged well. Some parts, it, it still goes good. And at the beginning, the intro where it talks about we're in this part of the country and it's rubles and such. The movie didn't need that. They could have said New York or Chicago and we would have been fine. But we'll do this foreign country bit. It made no sense. There was no point to it. But, little shop around, but the shop around the corner... It's a good movie. People, come out, go see it. This is a shout-out review. Is this a masterpiece? It can be. But will anyone recognize it? We gotta give it this shot. Shop around the corner, watch it. And if you're curious where I put it on the scale of 1 out of 7, I actually will put it a 5. I throw 5s a lot, I know. But 5s are good. They're not 
mind-blowing, but they're kind of soft and quiet. And I like a good five. Sixes and sevens. Well, seven, you kind of know it now. It's going to be hard. But shop around a corner. I think y'all would like it. Try to find it. It's... I don't know if it's on Netflix or on Amazon, but try to find it. Go watch this movie. Introduce yourself to the second Jimmy Stewart Christmas film. It may not be It's a Wonderful Life, but it doesn't mean life can be wonderful with a shop around the corner. This is the Bullfrog signing out. Rah!